What's up, good people? Welcome to Miles from India. As promised, I am here to show you all how we made our DIY do-it-yourself save the date. If you are new here, thank you so much for dropping in. Hopefully y'all can give your girl a subscribe or and a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. So this is another video for my wedding series or our wedding series on my channel. I am super excited. I am 91. I keep saying I. We are 91 days away from our wedding and I am just super pumped about it. So, but today... We are going to talk about how I made this amazing, how we made this amazing save the date. We are so excited about these uh, and kind of what it all entailed. So let's just start with saying that we were really excited. We have been seeing, looking on Instagram, Pinterest and all the places to find save the dates that we absolutely loved. And I don't know why this whole villain vellum paper look was something that we really really adored and this is one of our favorite pictures from our one of our favorite pictures from our engagement shoot and so we definitely wanted to use that um so let's get into the save the date so the items that we used are vellum vellum sheets you can get these i think we ended up getting ours from hobby lobby um, just because it was quicker for me and they actually came in a container of 25. It is a thicker sheet of vellum. Here it is. Thicker sheet of vellum. 35 are in here at $6.99. I'm pretty sure you can probably find this vellum paper on Amazon. I'll drop a link below probably of some generic vellum paper. Um, we also, I ensured that I purchased extra cartridges of ink because we wanted to make sure that the ink on the save the date was good and crisp and clear and it wasn't any like skips or lines or fading. We wanted to make sure that that was good. This good, good paper cutter, I got this also from Amazon. Y'all, this is like an old school paper cutter, but it worked so, so easy. Super, super happy about that. Um, and then, well, let me back up. So we talked about the vellum paper. We talked about the ink, the picture. So y'all, we had a whole situation when it came to these pictures. So at first we were using, I want to say it was Shutterfly um to try to get our pictures printed and we just had this really big thing i don't know about y'all but i literally hate seeing the name of a company on the back so like if you use minted or shutterfly they have their like logo on there i'm like i will pay whatever we need to to ensure that that logo is removed so we wanted to make sure that that was removed and the only thing was that was going to be on the back was our um our hashtag up up and kind of way and so we wanted to make sure that was done. Y'all, we went through at least like, we probably got about 450 pictures that came to us incorrect. They couldn't get it together with taking the, um, the branding off the back. And when they took the branding off the back, they put these random printer codes on every single picture. Um, and then they were leaving off the hashtag. Or then if they put the hashtag on, it was just a whole ordeal. So with all that being said, Y'all, we ended up going to Walgreens and printing out these amazing pictures. They were able to print it same day. It worked out. Listen, don't sleep on your local places. Went to Walgreens for that. This little clip here, we actually got them from Hobby Lobby as well. They are the little fasteners that we use. And this was probably 100 pieces for $2.99. Um, so that was a really good deal. On the back of the save the date, we also used a magnet because I personally don't care for magnets for save the dates. They are really easy and cost effective and so was this, but I wanted to do something different than a magnet, but we also wanted people to be able to put our save the date on their um, refrigerator. And so we actually put on actual magnets these were from amazon we got a case of the, we got not a case but we got a sleeve of those i think we got a couple sleeves of the sleeves of them so that we could have it all together 
And then what we also did was instead of putting the website information on the actual save the date, because we felt like it was very neat and modern and clean just to kind of have everything here, we actually purchased these um, from Zazzle. And these are actually strips. So they're like your little individual strips of... Um, of our with our website on it and then on the back is is the password to the website yes y'all we have a password to the website because people are nosy uh, but yeah so we actually was able to do this our logo was also printed on here um so this was really good and we actually fastened this to the back side of the save the date and then we use this little heart thing here to clip it on so we were really 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 excited about this so we just kind of clip it on the side had the heart out um on the front and that held on to the information that we needed and everybody received their save to date with this little heart on the outside the website and password is on the back so that they can see that um, all that is here up up in callaway they can fit it on there and it was just so ready and easy and ready to go. Now, something else that we did, I think, um, in our last, in my last video when I was talking about an update, we are doing a welcome night for our out of town guests and for our immediate family and bridal party. And on that, we actually also entered a welcome night. This is if they were invited to the welcome night. We gave them information and telling them that details would come for the welcome night. So this was also something that we were just able to get off of Zazzle. So just like business card like thing for details. So super, super excited. So we ordered all of those pieces together. As you can see here, I used my at-home printer to print all of it off. We used a um, Canva to do the actual script and the layout. And then as we did it, we realized that we wanted to make sure that when I was doing the cutting, that the lines weren't crooked. So Braxton used his Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop, to actually cut in some lines so that I can make sure that I lined up everything needed here um, to make sure that was done. And then what I also did was purchase this little handy hole puncher. Listen, so I have a standard hole puncher here at the house. But the standard hole puncher was too large for these little save the date pins. We wanted it to be very small and we wanted it to be to where you could move around the picture, but we didn't want it to be like too stiff. Um, but then we also wanted it not to be too big to where it would like this would bounce around so this metal piece would hold it. So and then these save the dates were small. We didn't want it to be like bigger. Y'all, this hole puncher is amazing. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, five different hole sizes from one sixteenth of an inch, one eighth, three sixteenth, one fourth, and five sixteenth. If you can see it here, it has it. It is amazing. I'll leave the link to this because I believe this can do leather and all that stuff too. This I also received or I also purchased from Amazon. We used the one eighth of an inch to put the holes at the top. So once I um, once I cut all the vellums, we had all of the pictures together, put all of the pictures together in one, I'm mean, sorry, the pictures and the vellum on top. And then I measured out where the hole needed to go. I put a hole in the top of the save the date. And then we put on the fastener and then I passed it over to Braxton to add on the metal. I'm sorry, the magnet. So super, super simple. It was easy for us. I think the biggest thing was getting the pictures printed the way we wanted them to and make sure that they were good quality printings. But Walgreens did your girl good. So we were able to, to do that. Now, the other thing that we did was our envelope. So we really wanted our envelope to be different and not your traditional white envelope. So we got these white, I'm sorry, these black envelopes here. And that's our return um, return address there. But I just love these because they were black with silver. They stood out. Um, and then we also did our labels. We actually did this on Etsy. I don't know if you guys can see it, but on Etsy, we actually printed out, uh, we actually got someone to print our labels in metallic writing um, and with the metallic writing and it's a clear label. So we didn't have to write anything. So 
Again, the envelopes came from Amazon. I'll drop them below. The labels came from Etsy. I will say the labels were a little bit pricier probably than um, what you may think. And then the other thing, y'all, that was pricey, stamps. Oh my gosh. You all, don't forget when you are doing your invitations, don't forget about stamps or at least don't forget to budget in stamps. Stamps get pricey and to ensure that you are communicating or finding out from your local post office on how heavy your your actual save the date is so your so your save the dates don't get sent back so something that i did was once we finished an actual save the date once we had um i i ended up taking all the ones that had the welcome night that had the strip on the back i put everything all into one and i took it to a post office to ensure i knew how much the mailing was going to be um, and so, of course, this was a little heavier, has the magnet, it has the everything in it. So it was a little bit more than one stamp. And so I, we just end up using two stamps on it. But we wanted to make sure that they were processed appropriately. So my last tip when it comes to the mailing of your save the dates or even if you are doing wedding invitations. So I just wanna make sure that you, that you think about this. So a lot of times people use, like we had magnets, we had a paper clip um, and we had a, um, a, a fastener on the back of our thing. When you take your, um, when you take your items to the post office, Usually, if you have the names on your envelopes and it's legible, let me back up. There's two different things. We did this one because we were concerned about the names on our envelopes being legible because it is metallic on black. But for two, because our envelopes had the fastener, our invitations, our save the dates, had the fasteners, it had the magnet, all these things, we didn't want the envelope to be squished in a machine. So if you all are using a wax seal or anything fancy on your invites or save the dates, go to the mail, mail um, post office. Y'all, I can't talk. It's been a long day, my bad. Go to the post office and tell them to do hand canceling on your actual invites. Now, hand canceling means that your invites do not go through a machine, a digital machine. It is actually hand processed by someone at the post office. Now, I will tell you, this may take a little bit longer to process through, but as long as you have them already stamped, already labeled, you have it all together ready to go, and you can just give the post office person this and tell them that you want it hand canceled, they should be able to do it. I highly recommend it. Um, from what I understand, a lot of our mail, a lot of our invites did not come in the mail looking like crunched up and scarred. Like I've, I've gotten invites to where the invite looked like it had been through World War I because it has been through all kinds of machines and stuff. So I would definitely tell them that, especially if you're going to use a special calligraphy on your save the date or anything of that nature. And also, if you have anything special that is lifted in your save the date or your invite, you definitely want to do that. So that is our save the date. We absolutely love it. It is so pretty. We are not doing a DIY on our invites. We did get a stationery to, to do those. Um, and so we are really excited to have those. But this is our little pride and joy. Like we did this. We we're really, really pleased with it. I wouldn't say that it was very expensive, but um we really enjoy it. We really like it. So, and that was kind of like something that we enjoyed at the beginning of our engagement and they're out the door and it seemed like people love them because we did. So anyway, that is our DIY. Again, we're not doing a whole bunch of things DIY, but the things that we do DIY for our wedding, I will definitely share them. We are almost 90 days away from our wedding. We are super, super excited. Definitely check out the other videos on my channel and we are so happy that you're here. We'll see you guys later. Have a good one. And again, I'll drop the links to the items that I purchased from Amazon and the other stores below. Have a good one, guys.